Howdy boys, girls, cats, and squirrels. Welcome back to another episode of How to Beatbox, a tutorial series that's been going on for, I don't even know. If you've missed any of the episodes, make sure to check out the playlist down in the description below. But today is a fun one, something that I can't believe I haven't even touched upon, but it's called the whistle bass, or just whistle beatboxing in general. I incorporate it more into the bass, where it goes Now obviously this technique has to involve whistling, so if you don't know how to whistle, I would look up tutorials on how to whistle. Some people can just do it, some people can't do it at all. I don't even know where I learned how to whistle. I think I just, it's one of those things you're born with either knowing it or you have to learn it. And I think I just knew it straight out of the womb. I was just like, right out of the womb. And if you want a tip on how to whistle, it's really simple. You just have to control the air going through your lips and the pressure you're putting out, depending on if you're inhaling or exhaling. It is a lot like beatbox techniques. So if you do know how to beatbox already, you're probably ahead of the game when it comes to learning how to whistle. And over time, once you get comfortable, you'll start kind of figuring out, okay, I can make a louder whistle doing this technique, or I can do the bass, by pushing air out. All right, so let's get into the technique of how to just inhale the whistle and add it into a beat. Obviously, you're using your lungs to take in the air and exhale it, but the sound of whistling comes from tightening your lips. So if you want to inhale, you just take a deep breath, just like that. And obviously you hear like, Darth Vader, you hear Darth Vader. But when you start tightening your lips, And what I'm basically doing is the same thing, just but I'm tightening my lips like you see. And I'm not like aggressively sucking in air or pushing out air, I'm doing it very lightly. The more gentle you do it and the more comfortable you get whistling, inhaling and exhaling, the easier it will get. It is tough to find that kind of middle ground of finding something that will sound as clear as that. So just keep messing around with it and you'll eventually get it, don't worry. Now once you get that simple technique down of just inhaling and exhaling and it starts becoming the whistle sound that you hear, this is where you start adding the tongue. So like I said, you just start adding in the tongue. <laughs> I can't say this. Now what you're doing with your tongue for a sound like this, it is just lightly touching the roof of your mouth really quick, but it's towards the back more. and adding the whistle bass, which I was talking about earlier, comes from what I've taught in the past where you're just humming. You know that Eminem song? Start opening your lips a little bit and letting some air whistle through those lips. Adds in a little bit more of a texture to just a hum, where a hum would just be. It goes. So it just adds a little bit something different. Now, with the whistle bass. Now for that, basically you're doing the same thing that you were with humming. With humming though, you're using your tongue to hit your bottom lip, like right there. So it's just right on your bottom lip there that you're hitting it to make like the... Now with whistle bass, I don't actually use my tongue for this at all. Whatever bass sound works for you. Some people have different types of bass, so this might not necessarily work for you. I have more of a humming bass, so take a deep breath because you're exhaling a lot and you'll eventually be able to mix it up as much as you want, but I'm just gonna take a deep breath and you can hear where the whistling is coming from and how it relates all into conjunction with everything that I've taught you so far. <coughs> I'll 
see you guys next time. Thank you so much for checking out. Leave a little like, a little thumbs up, please. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. Shake them and break them.